The University of Tennessee Medical Center is our region's only academic medical center. Our mission is to serve through healing, education, and discovery. Our goal is to share the knowledge of our physicians and staff in these health education videos as you make healthcare decisions for yourself and your family. Robotic surgery is a form of minimally invasive surgery. Uh, basically, some people have heard of uh, laparoscopy, such as having their gallbladder removed laparoscopically through small incisions. Uh, robotics is a technology which is basically applied to help us perform laparoscopic surgery in either a smaller or more confined space, or maybe with better dexterity than we could even with laparoscopic instruments. The real advantage of the robot is that we use a stable platform to do laparoscopic surgery that filters trimmer out. Uh, it basically allows us to have very close movement in a very confined space, which is great especially for things like pelvic operations. Nearly every condition that I treat as a urologist is now treated with uh, robotic surgery. The most common procedure that's performed robotically is either robotic hysterectomy, which my gynecology colleagues perform, uh, and robotic prostatectomy, which is removal of the prostate gland for prostate cancer. Uh, newer reasons for using the robot include things such as kidney cancer. So one of my specialties is doing robotic partial nephrectomies or robotic kidney surgery to treat kidney cancer, as well as to remove people's bladders for uh, bladder cancer. We do that robotically as well. Uh, repair of female pelvic organ prolapse. We do what's called a robotic sacral cobalpexy, which is basically treating the prolapse abdominally by going and using the robot to help do that in a less invasive fashion. Uh, the robot's also used to help treat heart conditions. Uh, the general surgeons are now using robotics to help treat colon issues, remove gallbladders. And the newest frontier is to use the robot to do what's called single port or less surgery, which is basically where all of the incisions are made just inside the belly button, and the one incision is used to complete the entire operation. So robotics is, again, basically just the same form of laparoscopy that we've always been using for the last several years. The real advantage is that it's allowing us to do operations that we weren't able to do previously laparoscopically. Uh, the robot, for lack of a better description, is just a very expensive sewing machine. Uh, and it allows us to do suturing very precisely and very accurately in a very small, confined space. For some conditions, such as female pelvic organ prolapse, Doing the operation abdominally using traditional laparoscopy or doing a, removing a prostate gland laparoscopically was technically a very, very challenging operation to do. Using the robot has basically allowed us to do that operation much better and much more accurately. Imagine someone flying a World War II airplane versus flying the new modern fighter jet. No matter how good the pilot is, the pilot of the, the person flying the new jet is always going to have better outcomes than the person flying the older airplane. So technology has really made a difference. We hope you'll join us soon for another medical moment. Visit utmedicalcenter.org or call the Healthcare Coordination Office at 865-305-6970 to learn about services available at the University of Tennessee Medical Center.